Hello, my Illuminaries and Mysterians. Yes, this is the Illuman Arc, and I am living the life. I'm living the life of a narcoleptic insomniac. It's more troubling than you might think. Not everybody knows what narcolepsy is. Most people know what insomnia is. Yeah, they've experienced it at one time or another in their life. But when you've experienced it almost all your life, it can be pretty troublesome. Very difficult and very hard to stay asleep. It's hard to get to sleep. It's hard to stay asleep. Well, the narcolepsy takes care of the get-to-sleep part. Oh, yeah, it takes care of the get-to-sleep part. And then I didn't realize how dependent upon this little chunk of oxygen I am. Now, see, there's my new credo, by the way. You know, live your life. Take chances. Be crazy. Don't wait. Because today, right now, is the oldest you've ever been. And the youngest you'll be ever again. Yes, and that is why I decided I was going to talk about, well, narcolepsy coupled with insomnia. Now, narcolepsy and insomnia leave a very interesting cross crossbreed. And when you're dependent upon oxygen, and all of a sudden you take off the oxygen, you run to the bathroom, by the time you get back to the bathroom, all of a sudden you sit down and you don't even realize you set your head on the table. Uh, to, you know, and I lost three hours of editing time today. Three. Whew. I was so upset. Luckily, I'm a day ahead right now. I have already got tomorrow's video uploaded and I could effectively in about 10 minutes of uh, voiceover, 10 to 15 minutes voiceover the second video and have it ready and then I'd be two days ahead. Because I'm going to post at least one gaming video a day. That's, a, that's my goal right now. One gaming video every single day. I, I want to do this uh, minimum of one a day till my birthday. Now these are, uh, and that's uh, June 22nd of next year. Uh, I want to get to my 49th birthday and at least post one gaming video every single day. Now I'm going to try to post a vlog every other or every third day. Um, I may post them every day, but uh, I am, that is dependent upon whether, oh, depend upon whether, whether I have something to talk about or not. Now I do have something to talk about here. Like you see, I, I suffer from congestive heart failure. And I'm suffering from, uh, you know, traumatic brain injury. And, you know, I, I, I've suffered from uh, three heart attacks. Three heart attacks. Six strokes. And two aneurysms. Been shot three times, stabbed twice. Hit by 27 vehicles before I stopped counting. Uh, cars, I mean, cars, just, you know, the, the four-wheeled roller skates all the way up through the, uh, um, you know, Cadillac Coupe de Ville and, and such. But basically, your, your standard passenger cars. Um, three pickup trucks, two vans, and a bus. Okay, the bus is the source of my traumatic brain injury. You know, and uh, I really wasn't hit by the bus. I was bitch slapped by the mirror. But um, it actually took four inches off my maximum height. My uh, height on my New York driver's license was six foot ten. Um, and I am now six foot six. Low wind resistance hairstyle, I will tell you that. 
And uh, I earn these stripes. The fact that I've been declared legally dead so many times, I'm no longer afraid of being declared legally dead. But I, I had to face the truth um, the other day. Really interesting one. I did not fear my previous open heart surgeries. My previous open heart surgeries had less than a 25% chance of survival. Okay, less than 25% chance. Now, most people wouldn't take those odds if they had the choice. But I didn't really have much of a choice. It was that or I would be dead. And, you know, something. I like uh, living a little bit too much. I'm like, kind of attached to it. It happens to catch my fancy. So, um, I was, I had less than a 25% chance. But as long as I know the odds are against me, I'm going to succeed. The odds are against me on ever making success on YouTube. I'm not doing it for the money. I'm doing it because I, I need something to keep me from, uh, going bored out of my gourd and, yeah, I, I, I have an outgoing personality. Um, in fact, my girlfriend uh, could uh, confirm what my baby brother would say, which is, you know, he had to relearn the English language, and he hasn't shut the fuck up since. So, that being said, I, I haven't shut the heck up. And I really... Kind of, you know, I, I don't, I'm now living in rural Man, Montana. It's not like there's a huge community out here. There is the college, but I have a nine-year-old to worry about. And he has, he's not in school. So it's not like I can go over to the campus, you know, and chill with where, where the, the young ones are hanging out and chill and talk to gamers and people who are interested in, uh, Computer gaming, video gaming, you know, gaming on console. So, I can't chill with people who I would like to chill with. So, that kind of leaves me with what? You know, um, realizing that it's, uh... <sighs> Realizing it is time. Oh, there we go. There was the crosshair kiddo. There was about your third shot of the crosshair kiddo. He will eventually be making his debut um, when I have the camera that can view the entire gaming area uh, that he's in because uh, the crosshair kiddo, it's easy to tell when he likes a game. It's easy to tell when he likes a game. But Crosshair Kiddo and Casey Doggins were going to introduce him a couple other times before they uh, have their debuts out on YouTube and start showing their YouTube-ishness. That being said, I am the Illuminarch. Facing a scary, a scary prospect. Those ones I only had a 25% chance of survival. I aced those. Okay. The one my doctors tell me is no big deal. It'll be an easy, you know, in and out. You'll be, you know, you come in Friday, we'll release you Saturday. Uh, that kind of a deal. And he's like, don't sweat it. And I want to sweat bullets. Because, like, I've never had something easy go well for me. And yet I've never had something hard go extremely poorly for me. So, where do I stand? I stand on the fact that my luminaries and Mysterians, and I know some of them are not subscribed to my channel, and that's fine. That's fine. I would love them if they would love it if they would subscribe to my channel, 
especially if they regularly follow my content. But, you know, I know some of my, my friends are, are not, uh, they don't subscribe to anything. They don't, they, they'll go watch a vlog consistently. They'll be that viewer that views the log, views the vlog, or views the blog on, on an internet site. And they'll go back to it time and time and time again. And yet they still won't subscribe. And that's fine. They're, they're not followers of anything. But they will follow things they just will not follow people. They'll follow trends. They'll follow what's going on in the world. But they won't subscribe to anything. They don't even have the paper delivered to their house or anything like that. They'll go to a newsstand to pick it up. So, you know, I understand some of my luminaries and Mysterians are invisible. But, you know, I'm living by that credo from now on. Because I, I know that I'm on the tail end of my experience. And with that, I, I really kind of don't want life to pass me by. So I'm a YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber because I like to be. Because it's a good, a good thing for me to do. Because it allows me to promote Extra Life. Extra Life is a charity. They raise money for Children's Miracle Network and uh, cancer hospitals for children. And they bring video games and stuff to children so they have some kind of... Um, well, entertainment, other than sitting around a ward in a children's cancer hospital. I believe in what they are and what they do, and hopefully uh, you will subscribe to my channel, because I now am committing 25% of all of my... Um, 25% of all of... My revenue that comes through AdSense or things I sell through the channel or things that I promote through the channel that bring in money. Anything that comes through this channel to make me money, 25% of that, 25% is going to go to Extra Life because they are one charity. Now... I may switch up charities from time to time, but Extra Life is going to be my go-to for now. Uh, I'm trying to arrange something with Rescue a Vet, but uh, they've got a little difficult to get to since the um, the person who owns Rescue a Vet, his his uh, the husband uh, of the husband and wife that own Rescue a Vet, they. Uh, he had cancer. I don't know where he stands right now. And uh, he, they moved to Florida because it was, you know, he wanted to be comfortable for the tail end of his days. Uh, and I, I, I hope he's not suffering. But I also hope that she's not absent of him. So um, with that, I've run this to 14 minutes. Peace out to you always. This is Lou Marinar Anarch, and I am out.